Our next movie is named Die Hard, and it stars Bruce Willis as an off-duty policeman who attends an office party in a Los Angeles skyscraper and is overlooked when terrorists occupy the building and round up all of the other people. Hiding out on a floor that's still under construction, he wages a one-man war against the bad guys and maintains radio contact with Reginald Vell Johnson as a cop down on the ground. I want you to find my wife. Don't ask me how. By then, you'll know how. Uh, I want you to tell her something. I want you to tell her that um, <laughs> tell her it took me a while to figure out uh, what a jerk I've been. The movie is filled with wall-to-wall -wall action, a lot of it based on the inability of the L.A. cops to believe that Willis himself is really a cop and not a tricky terrorist. Blow the roof. The car's up there! Blow the roof! Never even think about going up in a tall building again. God, please don't let me die. got just a glimpse there of the guy in the beard that's Alan Rickman who plays the villain and who's really the most interesting character in the movie kind of an intellectual uh, guy with delusions of superiority Die Hard has a lot of action scenes like the one on the roof so many of them you're amazed the skyscraper doesn't turn into the towering inferno they're dropping explosives down the elevator shaft and whole floors are being blown apart but you can also see there, I think, one of the big weaknesses of the movie, and that's the idiotic behavior of the Los Angeles Police Department. There was one character in this movie, a deputy chief, whose actions are so stupid and so unmotivated and wrong-headed that finally he just brings the movie to a stop every time he opens his mouth. Bad writing. He always says the wrong thing. He understands nothing. And with a movie like this, once you start picking out the loopholes, and there are a lot of them, it doesn't matter how good the stunts or the special effects are, or even how good Bruce Willis is. You just can't stay interested. I did stay interested because I saw this as really a mano a mano between Bruce Willis, who I think is very good in the film, and Alan Rickman, who is really quite devilish and quite sinister and threatening. And I also like the fact that it is held in the skyscraper, so there is some claustrophobia involving this terrorist, seeming terrorist attack. There's also a by-play relationship between Willis and his uh, woman, his former wife, and they want to get that going. She's one of the people that's being captured. But basically, I thought of two guys trapped in a tower trying to fight it out, and I bought the film. Well, what about all the cops on the ground? What about this deputy chief? But they stay even away after, from them. They stay away, after, they stay away from Willis him. Willis is brought down to the ground, yes. which is a miracle considering that all of the elevator no. shafts have been dynamited. I followed uh, him all the way through. Uh, the cop is standing there saying, we're going to bill you for all the damage you've caused. There I are mean, always... You groan at things There like are idiotic that. cops in the Dirty Harry movies, too, oh, when you no, laugh at them. I, the, Come on, because Harry's smarter. This is, not an Will idiotic, is this is not an idiotic cop. This is idiotic writing to no, make no. a cop like this no. when it would have been better if he just pushed the action forward instead right. of constantly being wrong-headed. One supporting character, two very interesting lead characters. I like the movie.